There he is, the Mad Dog. Mark Madsen in his third year. Of course, Mark Pope had a nice run there. Little inside out and a baseline three. That's Darth third. 6'9", 235. So not just AMAC. They've got size. They're a very balanced offense. They shoot well from distance. They get it inside like that. Fuller with the catch and score. I see the six foot nine. He's a long guy. AMAC. Caesar kicks it back out. That's kneeled, and he drains a three. Well, that's the way to do it right there. It fell on Roberts, his first. Amac calling for the ball. Doubled, up and in. Just a, a simple turn. And Mike Hopkins can't say enough good things about him right now. Dart third. Boy, he's these two guards. Oh, nice move. For the, oh, missed. But Caesar. Bozier's been struggling a little bit with his confidence. Once he sees that ball go through the hoop, I think it'll help him out a lot. Darthard battle, Caesar. This is Caesar. An open three, and he hits it. Well, once again, you get that ball. 50% for the line. Yeah, might be a good foul. Fuller is one of, one of their blue guys. How about that? He hit them both. He's recruited those kind of guys as freshmen. Now you don't see many teams with a lot of freshmen. Everybody's going to the transfer portal. But most teams, as we know, used to play man to man, so it's hard to find some guys that are used to playing zone. Neal huh. hits it, and he's fouled. You felt bad to get a four-point play. There it is, a four-point play. If you're, if you're Mark Madsen, you just want to get to halftime close. Close, you're right. With AMAC not really a factor and not playing here much in the first half. Fuller in tight, and he scores. Nice find. Mike Hawkins hopes is able to accumulate assists. Missed the shot. Neal far oh, wow. and just like that Utah Valley streaks down the floor Brown prize it loose oh, again defense. and Fuller remember he's six foot nine blocks the shot he was right there on top of that one Neal driving flips nice it pass. to the corner that's Harding who buries a three Connor Harding yeah, talking about three fouls that's three on Cole Badger he has to come out not even 30 seconds into the second half here Amac played eight minutes in that first half. Finds Darthard on a wing. Amac, nice dump. And Fuller, they ran that same play. So Grant is in off the bench. Washington gets a couple third fouls right away. Amac gets that one over the rim. Washington has struggled tonight, 7-13. Cord was doubled. Amac going to the bucket. Rises and scores. He's in place. Grant out. We got Matthews, Roberts, Wilson. Madsen in his third year at Utah Valley. Shared the regular season title last year. Neald. That's Darthard. And that's a three. That's a great look right there. Neald in transition. Pull up three. Amac tips it, keeps it alive. Dart third. Yes. And Utah Valley is in a pair. <laughs> I still got something hanging in the closet. They're going to come back at some point. I'll be ready. Eight point lead. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Foul trouble with Fuller. Amac. I don't think his, his sneakers came off the floor. Even set shot Buford from the fifth that saved Pittsburgh and shaking his head if you saw that one. And he's been one of the bright spots, as you said, off the bench. Started his career at TCU, came back home. Darthard, who had 30 in his last game against Bethesda. Brown against Darthard, who's a terrific defender. Oh. And just like that, the steal, the finish. And the biggest lead for Utah Valley, turnovers and off of rebounds. They've really struggled just in a, in a half, in half set. Court, yeah. It's something that they've had problems with all season long, but just hasn't started tonight. They've been struggling to shoot the basketball, especially from three and from the, three, and from the free throw line. Harding, clock is down. A runner, and it wow. goes. That's a tough shot. When it's your night, it's your The zone extends. The cord 
Caesar corner three. That was just gorgeous patience. Pac 12's leading score. Amac thinking about it. Floats one up. Missed it. Fuller put back. In the toolbox. That's the way you want to go to battle. They got all the pieces. Then they get the offensive rebound, just like the, the nail in the coffin. I mean, Rich, think about how hard it is to get 12 rebounds in the game. He hasn't really been in the floor of the game at all. Yeah, there nice it is. Man. He's got 10 double doubles. And Amac is the same guy who his. I mean, look at his stroke. Rich, he's 6 foot 11. He's shooting free throws. Didn't play a lot. He averaged 13 minutes a game. 15 rebounds a game last year. Been week. eligible since 2010 when they transitioned. Very capable of getting to the NCAA tournament. They got to go through Grant Kent. Leading score from last year back in about three to four weeks. And he should get Justin Harmon back. Yeah, that's going to do it, Rich. You saw Valley's going to run the clock out here. Just an impressive win for Mark Matson and his ball club. Nice Christmas gift for them. Not the way Mike Hopkins and the Washington Huskies want to go into the Christmas break, but it is what it is. Well, they're going to use this break, obviously, to try to get healthy, get everybody back in shape off that three-week layoff, and get ready for Washington State in Pullman on the 29th of December.